Blackbusters. What's cracking with the family? We are back. Another episode of Blackbusters, the best movie review podcast in the world. In the world, Craig. In the world, Craig. It's just, it just is what it is. It just is what it is. It's the best. Craig. Right? I'm Craig. <laughs> and I'm your host, Big Ja. Mm hmm. Along with my co host, uh, Grand Theft Tone. Grand Theft Tone. <laughs> Grand Theft Tone. Grand Theft. Yeah, tone writing. <laughs> well, no, yeah. I like that, Paul. Uh, uh, Paul, <laughs> uh, um, Either New Jersey Tone or New I, Jersey Tone. But I do like, I like Grand Theft Tone, though. Yeah. Based upon the characters in this movie, I could be like, you know, like public transportation tone. Yes. <laughs> like, like PT. PT Tone. PT Tone. Uh huh. Yeah. I, it's easy PTSD yeah. Tone on this again. PT, uh, but, yeah. you know, I'm, you got to mix it up. Okay, we we've said a lot already. Um, his name is a uh, uh, Grand uh, Grand Theft Tone, mm-hmm. and you know Grand Theft means Grand Theft Auto because we are doing the movie New Jersey Drive. Yes, now New Jersey Drive is a sleeper. Yeah, everything about this movie is sleeper. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. there's no stars in it. There's no famous director. Was produced by Spike Lee, mm-hmm. but the director was, excuse me, Nick Gomez, written by Nick Gomez and Michael Marriott, mm-hmm. and directed by Nick Gomez, and produced by Spike Lee. Um, starring Sharon Corley, Gabrielle Cassius, and Saul Steen, or Stein. Mm-hmm. Uh, those are not recognizable names, uh, but this movie was... was uh, this came out in 1995. Yeah. I mean, the biggest star to come out of this is Donald Faison. Donald Faison is the biggest star to come yeah, out of this. He's, he's the biggest name. And he wasn't even the, the, the star yeah. at the time. Yeah. Uh, it's it's This is an interesting film, bro. It's a sleeper. Nobody really... I went, in 1995, you might have watched this film. Um, this is around the same time Juice came out. Mm-hmm. It's around the same time Friday came out. New Jack City. It's that same era. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know, they were making movies, especially on the East Coast. And um, the deep covers, um, it was probably a little, a little later than deep cover, but within two or three years from these type of films. Yeah, yeah. I found out that this movie existed off the soundtrack. Mm. Right? You know what I mean? Like, that's how, really? you know, wasn't no internet, but like, right. the sound, you know, that's when music releases were popping. Right. And so the New Jersey Drive soundtrack was, cracking. was, was a deep, you know, had a lot of, you know, East Coast, mm-hmm. underground, Naughty by Nature, cuts, Queen Latifah, Red, Red Man, Red you know Man. I mean? so so that's how I even discovered that the movie existed, right? And then of course I wanted to see it, yes. right? Yes. Um, which you know I remember not seeing this movie in the theater. I remember seeing it on VHS, mm-hmm. me too. Um, if not a bootleg, um, and yeah, it's a very gritty movie, man. It's gritty as hell. Um, reminded me reminds me of The Wire. Very that much came so. Out, that came out maybe five years. Very much so. Um, this movie is called New Jersey Drive, and by the name you could tell it was, you would assume that it's based in um, New Jersey, mm-hmm. Camden, New Jersey. Yeah. Uh, it's a very rough part of, of, of New Jersey. Very rough part of New Jersey. And uh, it's about two, it really is about one, one main, one guy, his mm-hmm. name is, uh, his name is Jason. Mm-hmm. Uh, and um, by play by Sharon Corley. Yeah, haven't seen Sharon around around Didn't in a do long, a mu- long time. I took a look at his IMDb. This is basically it. There's mm-hmm. a couple other little like roles in New York Undercover. Right, you know some shit there. But like, I felt like he was a fantastic leading man. Do you? Right, like like I like I felt. This is why. This is why your your reference to the wire is such a good comparison to okay. this movie. Because I, you almost forget you're watching a movie. That yes. like it kind of blends away, yeah. Because it's, everybody looks so real, mm-hmm. everybody looks so natural and organic and mm-hmm. endemic to that environment. To some way, it used to look in the in the wire, right? Mm-hmm. And you'd be like, like everybody on the block looks like they live there. No one looked like it looked like they were in the wardrobe. Nobody. They were just, yeah. This is the clothes yeah. they wear every day. Exactly. Um, Sharon Corley plays Jason Petty, the main character. Mm-hmm. He's a he plays Jason, a young high school, either junior or senior. Yeah. He's either 17 or 18. Um, 
and he grows up in the, he's, he grows up in the hood. Yeah, he has a best friend. His name is Midget. Mm-hmm. His best friend Midget. We gotta talk about Midget. We gotta, we talk, gotta about talk about Midget, man. And these guys, the Midget and 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 uh, Jason Petty, are they're they're car thieves. Mm-hmm. Along with the rest of the hood, like yeah, in this area of of, of New Jersey, like. Stealing cars is very common. They stealing so many cars. They stealing. They're stealing so many cars, and I was like, "Are they just joyriding, right? Like you know, because they don't really show them like stealing cars to take to the chop shop to to get paid. It's just like later. Yeah, it's just like listen, we get up and we get a car. We get up and on the way to school, we're gonna steal a car. Yeah, we're walking past. And we're going to steal the car. Or they'll steal one car and they'll pile into it, four mm-hmm. or five guys into a car yeah. to drive around the city to see, oh, yeah, I want that one. Yeah. This guy gets out and steals that car. Now it's two it's cars ridiculous. drivers. It's ridiculous. You know, another, yeah. another guy, hey, I want this one. I see that Jeep. I'm going to mm-hmm. get out. And these guys are stealing. Everyone, it's, it's five homeboys in the crew. They all got five stolen cars. And it's a way of life. A way of life. It's normal. It's a way of life. They go showboat. They go. They, they go. Mm-hmm. They what, what street was that? Hawthorne Street. Yeah. They go to Hawthorne Street and pull up. That's like the spot where you do you do donuts. You just pull that. That's the strip. Where all the girls is out. Uh huh. All the gangsters and, the and show off what you stole. And show off what you stole, man. Yeah. That's crazy. It's ridiculous. <laughs> That's crazy. It's ridiculous. Um, and 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 the main character, Jason Petty, is all the way involved in that. Yes, a hundred percent. And then you see him. Um, all right, so let me. I'm a, I'm gonna say this. This film has a plot. Hell yeah, it's a there's a plot there. Um, I feel like this this movie lacks heart. Okay, lacks heart in the in the sense like. I get the grittiness. I love the hood part of it. Mm-hmm. The like, like the, the 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 fast pace, stealing cars, but the direction of this film, as I watched it as a grown man, it's a little different for me. Like when I watched it as a kid, yeah. in '95, I was about, I was, I think, fourteen, mm-hmm. and I was I was enamored by the, yeah by. Like this life of this being like this young teenage kid, this whole crew of kids is a, a car thieves and they mm-hmm. stealing cars and running from the police and all that. I was like, that's dope. Yeah. As as a person watching it as, as entertainment, um, as I got older, I'm like, okay, what exactly is the point of this film? You what bring, exactly is the yeah. point of this film? Yeah. The, 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 we see as it goes, okay, but you know, your main character is supposed to be someone you root for. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's this character, Jason. It's I don't really like this nigga, man. I don't like any of them. <laughs> right? Nobody's likable yeah. in the film. But but this goes back to, and again, like, like, let's go on a run of like 15 comedies. Because I I was thinking about this like when I was driving to the studio and I was uh-huh. like, thinking about all of these hood movies we done watched recently. Boys in the Hood, Jews, Minister Society, now New Der- New Jersey Drive. And there's I came up with like with this theme in my head of like looking up and then looking back, right? Right. When these movies was coming out, we was young. So we was looking up to all of this. Right. Right. Like it was, it was fresh. It was fresh. It was cutting the edge. The music was fresh. Yeah. Looking back at these movies, I just have a totally different experience, right? right. And to this point, like this movie is just fucking sad. Right. <laughs> like, like, and what's sad about it is the utter hopelessness of like every character to your point there's no redemption arc right like you know these they guys you one at the end but yeah, it's like but it's you know it feels very back to school special that point like it almost it almost like that ending almost like betrays the 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 movie the movie cuz this guy the you know Jason Hell or high water, he's on the block. Yes, and now and what they what they try to do with this is is they try to say, you know, with all the stuff he's been going through, you know, maybe he's decided that like this is not what he wants to be or wants to do. But there's not a whole lot of evidence for that. Like right. you know, he gets out of jail, goes right to the block, right? Like right. you know, obviously, none of these guys think maybe we shouldn't steal a car today. Right, <laughs> right. Man, the man. block is hot, but who cares? They have no, they have no, uh, no sense of 
what, 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 what am I looking for? They they have no like conscience, no conscience. And about here's it. the thing: you can say no, that's just the streets. Dude. That's how niggas is. Mm-hmm. I, I understand that. I, mm-hmm. I I remember being a young dude and like seeing the homies do dumb shit, and me being do I'm doing dumb shit too at, mm-hmm. at, at a certain age. But like he had a like you saw where he, where he came from. He came from a mom that loved him. Mm-hmm. The house wasn't the ran down yeah. shack. Yeah, it was. They they wasn't. I wouldn't even call them middle class, but they wasn't like it was working class. Working class. Yeah. The mom had a, a, a him and his sister, his skinny, little sister, skinny Loretta, skinny skinny Loretta. She's about thirteen. <laughs> right, right, right. Fourteen. Uh-huh. He's about seventeen, eighteen. Yep. And the mom goes to work every day. Mm-hmm. Has a boyfriend who doesn't live there yet. Yeah. But he's always he's he's over but there. He's there, and they're engaged now. Mm-hmm. So it's like they 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 kind of give a scene. It's stable. It's stable. It's stable. It's stable. And he might not be the best. Like, and, and the daughter's like, I ain't gonna let. Her, I ain't gonna let her marry him, mm-hmm. as if he's a bad guy. They never showed him being a good guy, right? But they didn't show him being a bad guy either. He ain't in them streets. He's not in the streets. He's, he, he he had like a, a work belt on, mm-hmm. like like a like, a, like yeah. a construction worker, yeah, 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 a foreman or something. He's going like that. out to get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Legit. And, yeah, and and. and no signs, of, no no signs of him being a bad dude. Mm-hmm. So this dude, Jason, the main character, he's almost like, and you said he uh, he's just this quiet guy, no personality, mm-hmm. in my opinion, and kind of like a follower. Yeah, almost. His mom is asking him questions about him, and he's giving her one word answers. Kind of kind of like not really communicating with her, mm-hmm. and she says, hey, I, don't, "I don't want that call. I don't want that call." Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? And like so, he but he he'll tell his mom one thing and go outside to do, do the exact same. Now here's the thing: usually when we watch movies like this from like the New Jack, the New Jack Cities, mm-hmm. the uh, the um, even other like the or the Wire. Mm-hmm. These kids are outside selling drugs, yes, right, yes, making money, hustling, hustling. These kids, high school kids, they are ditching school riding. and <laughs> just stealing cars, just joyriding. And joyriding, that's it. They're not getting money. They're not getting money. And they're getting chased by the police to the point where the police know what they look like. Yes. And they're still out stealing cars the next day. So the first big issue that happens is when um, Jason is in the car with one of his homeboys. Mm-hmm. Uh, I forget his name, but let's say his name was, uh, it wasn't Peanut. It was more like, <coughs> it was. Um, Ronnie. Ronnie. Yeah. Ronnie or Reggie? I thought it was Ronnie. Was it Reggie? It might have been um, Ronnie. It yeah. might have been Ronnie. Um, he's riding in a stolen car with Ronnie, and it's a cop car. It's a cop's um, um, civilian vehicle. Personal vehicle. Uh-huh. Personal vehicle. And, and and the cops are like in this corner on top of this hill, on top of a hill. Like, yeah. Shady setup. Shady setup. This is not a well thought out operation. Right. <laughs> they can see him on top of the hill. Yeah. And they're, they're driving the down the hill. <laughs> like off road. Off road. Yeah. And they start shooting at the kids without... For, for no reason, no provocation, not no reason. They they had stolen the car, but mm-hmm. the reason isn't that that isn't just to be shooting at a kid. Mm-hmm. They shoot at the car. These two kids run out. Jason and his homeboy Ronnie. Mm-hmm. They run out and come to find out as they run, they and they realize that Ronnie's hit. They yeah, shot this dude. Shot, yeah. And they still get away. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and so now Ronnie's in the in the coma. Mm-hmm. Now they finally go. They finally uh put take him to um take him to the hospital. Yeah, and he's in the coma, and then they uh. Or intensive care, yeah. Critical, critical. He's condition. in, he's in critical, critical condition, right? Mm-hmm. So, um, now Ronnie gets picked. Up. I mean, Jason gets picked up. He goes to jail, yeah. And like they, they question him. He, he, he doesn't, he, he doesn't stay, yeah. But they say next time I see you, I'm, a, I'm it's gonna be worse for you. Mm-hmm. You would think after my homeboy gets shot, and almost dies, mm-hmm. and I, the judge threatens me next time I see you, I'm, a, I'm gonna give you some real time, yeah. That he will slow down. I would. St- Stop riding in stolen vehicles and or stealing vehicles themselves. No. <laughs> when I say conscious, no red light. I know, I know gang bangers do certain things. I know like, but like the, like our drug dealers still go out and start copping and start slinging away um mm-hmm. drugs again. Like for a profit, they they kinda do it because they gotta provide for yeah. whoever. Yeah. These niggas don't have to steal cars. They just literally go outside and steal cars. And so, and I was thinking about that because you know it's an interesting point. I was like, are these just like immature high school kids? Because these kids have a lack of respect for sure. They don't even respect people's parents. That's crazy. They don't act right in front of people's parents, right? Like, you know, they'll laugh. You know what I mean? Like everything is a joke. Everything is funny. So I want to like believe that these are just young high school kids 
with no direction, right. no respect. Mm-hmm. So they're just and they think they're they're invincible, right? right? And they're, and everybody else is doing it. But like the way they be laughing at people's moms, you know, the way that they just be disrespecting like you know adults or whatever. You know, we've got one you know OG homie try to check them, which is Heavy D's character. Yeah, right. Like you know, but outside of that. There's nobody policing these kids. You know, from there's no hood decorum. There's no honor. They're turning on each other. They're yeah. killing each other. Like, this is all fucked up. Man. Nah, nah. This it, is it, all it, fucked up. And, I, and I'm thinking, like, damn, that's so unrealistic, but it might not be. Might some, not be. Some hoods, like, nah, the homies kill each other. Mm-hmm. After the homies fall out for whatever reason, they wasn't really friends to begin with. They was just hanging with each other. Yeah. And they fall out. And next, you know, they busting guns at each other. That happens. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But the way it happened, and like, this dude. Because of his sister and like I just it, it it just didn't really work. Yeah, like you know, um, they have no sense of earth, no sense of we probably need to stop doing this. Let's right. slow down a little bit. Nobody ever has that beat, right? Like no, like nobody, because it's because it's, it's interesting. The 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 thing that I start to fall on right. is this is a movie about friendship. You would think so, possibly. It's, so it's the only it thing I can I can I can grasp at, right? Like you know, and let me caution. I really like this movie, mm-hmm. right? Like I like I like I I it tells a, it's real and in in gritty, and tells an interesting story and a one hundred percent transports me to that place, right? right? Like I like I understand whatever it is you're trying to tell me about Camden, New Jersey. Mm-hmm. But from a movie standpoint, from a story standpoint, the only story that's really compelling is the story between like Jason and 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 Midge, right? Like you know, yeah. like their friendship, because that's the only time that we really see some nuance. Like the relationship that like he has with his mom, like doesn't quite work for me. Yeah, the relationship that he has with his sister doesn't quite work for me. The only relationship, even the relationship that he has with the with the fucked up cop, like doesn't really like the guy just comes down and whoops on him. You know what I mean? Don't stay out that grand jury, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, but you're making the, me want to be on the grand jury. Yeah, you're gonna get your right, ass back. Right. Leave me the fuck alone. And then right, I didn't even have to be on the grand jury for you to be for you to get indicted. Yes. You got Right? It's so but the relationship between him and and, and Midge is very interesting mm-hmm. because it sours. Right? Like, you know, like like they laugh everything off. They kind of try to look out for one another. Um, but ultimately, you know, when 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 Jason calls out, man, like, man, I'm be I'm ducking bullets, nigga, and you laughing. That that to mm-hmm. me, for one a few things. <laughs> These niggas ain't friends. And mm. and Sharon, not only do I not like, I don't like Sharon's character. Mm-hmm. Now, mind you, I'm just breaking down. This is, you know, I, I'm breaking down the film based off of, you know, how how films are supposed to be received. Yeah. You're supposed to like the protagonist. He's supposed to like the character, or root for him, mm-hmm. or, you know, but he's hard to root for because he's not likable to me. And he's so stupid. He's so stupid. He mm-hmm. he doesn't. I, and I understand rebelling against your mom because your mom don't know no better. She's square. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be outside doing my thing. But he's lying to his mom, and the way he's lying to his mom is like, yeah. Now she no. She asked him one day at the park, Did you, "Are you keeping your promise?" Mm-hmm. I'm assuming the promise was to like to stay out of trouble or to right. stop doing whatever you were doing before. Right. And he didn't even answer her, and she just accepts it. She just accepts it. I'm like, how? At first, I was like, man, she mm-hmm. how? She's a, she's a good mom, but then I'm like, uh, she's weak. She's weak. Like, because, and there's a scene where even the daughter was like, you make me, I'm always in the house. You make me stay in my room all the time. Mm-hmm. Like, why does she bang on her? Like, go back to your room. What are you doing outside? Yeah. Go to yeah, your room. Yeah. You always do this. When you're mad at him, you make me stay in my room like I'm like I'm a prisoner. Right. And it's like, yeah, that's right. That's, 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 that's shady how you how you doing that to your daughter. Mm-hmm. All it's going to do is breed resentment. It's going to breed rebellion. And have her out on the streets like she was. Mm-hmm. Right? And at least he, at least as a brother, he was trying to tell her, no, go in the house. Yeah. You can't be out here. Right. But- the mom is soft. soft. I, there is only so much you can do with a son that's that, that big, that old. Mm-hmm. You can guilt trip him, but you can say, or you can kick him out the house. That yeah. happens too as well. But she slapped him one time because he cussed at her. Mm-hmm. Because he was downstairs talking to his homeboys. And she knows you just got out of jail. You're not about to be out there chilling with these dudes that got you there. Right, right. And, and they had no respect for him. And he's disrespecting and, his mom. And, he's, and he didn't have respect for himself. 
or his mother to defend her against him. Like, bro, stop laughing at my mom, bro. Yeah. Y'all, y'all get up out of here. Right. Um, almost like if he if he checks him, it's probably gonna be a problem. Yeah. Just like when he checked the other dude. Yes. Oh, like that's how man? flimsy. That's how flimsy they they. Like they crew us. Yeah, bro. They crew was was real flimsy, and like crabs in a barrel kind of situation, right? Like 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 you could tell, like when Midge and Jason's friendship was over, when they like we kind of got back in the van. Welcome home. Welcome home. Yeah, it's like I'm basically not fucking with you anymore. But the thing is, why? What the thing? Uh. It wasn't like they were doing, they were selling drugs and one of them snitched. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like, oh, you're not down no more. Like, all of a sudden, he stopped it. Jason didn't do that wrong. Yeah. I steal cars, you steal cars. I look out, you look out sometimes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I jimmy, I jimmy, the, I, I jimmy the, 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 the handle, you jimmy yeah. the handle sometimes. Yeah. Like, we all in this together. Why you stop? Why you start treating me different? The conversation that 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 we have where when, when Mitch decides to steal the Lexus, Right when they're out in the streets or whatever, and he decides to still, and he just decides spur the moment. And Jason was like, "Yo, like we supposed to be mans. We, you know, if we gonna pull a lick, we gonna pull it together and pull it the right way. You just left me fucking hanging, right? Like you just hop out this car and go steal that car. Like the fuck was that all about? And basically, Mitch was like, "Listen, man, I'm moving and shaking. Get 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 on my level or not. I gotta do what the fuck I gotta do." He's always been doing that. Yep. When they pulled up on the actual cop patrol car, mm-hmm. and they were like, wait, wait, where we at, Mitch? Where we at? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, 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 you're not. No, mm-hmm. man, you wild, mm-hmm. nigga. And he gets out and he opens up the, the gate to the cop's car, the cop's squad car. Yep, yep. They didn't even know where they were going. Right. And then he got out, and they stole the cop car, and then they joyride. Mm-hmm. What's the difference? That's yep. bad riding to me. Yep. It doesn't make sense. All of a sudden, you left me hanging. No, I've been driving before. You've been in the passenger seat. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see a car I like. I'm about to go get it. As soon as I get up and get out the car, you get, you jump in my spot. Yep. I get in this car, drive off, you drive off. That's how it's always been the whole yep. movie. Yep, yep. So in the writing, in the dialogue was like, man, you, you just left me hanging, man. I'm supposed to be your ace, man. You're your right-hand man. It's the same play. What do you mean? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking it's about? It's the same play. You see what's going on. You yeah. stand, you sitting in the passenger seat. Hey, bro, he about to get out of the car. I'm about to go get that. I gotta go get it. Hey, bro. Mm-hmm. Nah. Are, are, you, are you doing it? Oh, shit. All right. Yeah. I'm going to get in the car. As soon as you get in the car and turn the car on, I'm driving off. It's so interesting, Ja. I'm glad I'm having this conversation with you. I should not be more concerned than the characters in the actual movie whenever they're behind the, the wheel of a car. Right? Like, whenever, like when I'm watching this movie and I'm seeing them in the car, I'm kind of holding my breath that, like, the cops are going to be there at any second. Right. Anytime, like, there was a car that drove past in the background, like, I was all, like uh, I was yeah. immediately Police? on edge. Police? These characters have none of that concern. <laughs> they have n- Oh, yeah, 5 0 5 yeah. They hopping, they, they hopping. They, they don't acknowledge the bodies that come as a result of this, of this Grand Theft Auto shit, the heat that they're getting as a result of this Grand Theft Auto shit, the fact that the block is hot, like, you know, because of this Grand Theft Auto shit. Nobody fucking acknowledges that, like, there's major consequences to what the fuck we're doing on a daily basis, so, multiple times a day. Right, bro. Multiple times a day. Multiple when times the, a when day. When the homie Reggie or Ronnie got shot, mm-hmm. by then they're shooting him for no, uh, no uh, just off top. That was one. Yeah. Okay. They went to go saw him in the hospital. He's damn near in the coma still. Mm-hmm. He can really talk. Right. They're like, damn, he's fucked up, man. All for, for all for joyriding. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. We're gonna joyride tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And then now Donald Faison's character is he's in this car trying to and then not only is he they they they, they had him cornered. Mm-hmm. They put up on him. He got in this car and started smashing the car behind him, yep. smashed the car in front of him just to get free. Mm-hmm. That's a that's you putting people's life at risk. Yes. So at that point. Maybe you start shooting in. Do you start shooting? Like if someone has a car, uh, don't have a gun, but they mm-hmm. have a car as a weapon. Yeah. Normally they, they pull it off. You, you get shot. So he drives off. He's trying to evade the cops that mm-hmm. have him cornered in. He drives off and gets T-boned yep. by another cop. And he kills cop, him. And he kills him. Yeah. That's no lessons say. learned. And the homies are like, fuck. Mm-hmm. And they upset. They mad. They sad. Yeah. I think, I think you are right in the sense that like, 
this movie ha- has no North Star, right? This is not to say that I don't like it. It's just it's got no direction. And because no of the direction, lack of bro. direction, like to your point, like I don't know what any of these characters' motivation is. I don't know what any of them want out of life. Right, man. Right? Like, you know, it doesn't really say, like, you shouldn't steal cars. There's no less than... There's, <laughs> right. There's no even, even like, there wasn't that many. There was two women in the society mm-hmm. with the uncle, the grandfather, talking the cane and, and, and um an old dog on the couch in the mm-hmm. living room in the projects. And then the other one was uh, our Charles S. Dutton's character, Mr. Butler, mm-hmm. talking to uh, his son, Sharif, yeah. and Kane at the at classroom. The yeah. hunt is on. You are to pray. Mm-hmm. It's like... This movie doesn't have that. Right. And even with the girl asking him, what you going to, uh, uh, Jenny Pinkett Smith's character, mm-hmm. what are you going to do with your life? You should come to Atlanta with me. Like, there's, there's reasons why this conversation about what he should do. Yeah. Like, even with the mom, she comes to, like, ask him, I'm not going to get that call, am I? I yeah. I asked him, have you been going to school? And he mm-hmm. doesn't even answer her. Right. He's like, Come on, have the dialogue that have, have the dialogue a, a little better than that. Yeah, I mean, like, there's that one moment where like Midge and Jason are talking, and Midge is like, you know, don't work for the white man, right? You know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm not gonna work for the white man. But even like, but that was like a miss, kind of like, so what else? So what are we gonna do? Right? Like, right. how are we gonna survive? And then even the girl in in New Jersey Drive, there's never a moment where like. She could have a conversation with Midge or Jason. Like, don't you want to be more than just they this? They had a little bit moment. They had one there. And for why is she the communal girlfriend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's the only one girl <laughs> that all the niggas are, yo, yo, what It's up, the man? only fly, only fly chick in the hood. She likes, I guess she likes this dude, uh, Jason. And then she had history with, with Midge. Midget. Yeah. I can see, here's the thing. Because the Midget and um, Jason fall out. Mm-hmm. For, but they, they never fall out. They just... It, it just got ten, it got tentative. The tension grew out the blue. Yeah, they should have made it you story wise, writing wise, make it so you jealous that your ex girlfriend is now liking you your best friend. Him. Right. Start there. Start yeah. there. Now, but even but even for like the dude with the small afro that was like mm-hmm. talking about how um, Faison loves character. Uh, I mean uh, Donald Faison. Excuse me, Donald Faison's character. Um, when he gets killed and mm-hmm. they have a re- they have a funeral and the repast, mm-hmm. he's like, "Oh man, he looks like, fucked up in there, man." That was insensitive as fuck. And mm-hmm. they kept saying that, man. And he kept saying, I'm just saying, man. I'm just, I mean, he, mm-hmm. looked, he looked messed up in there. Mm-hmm. Stop saying what's wrong with you. That was weird to me. But I guess I guess they were trying to show that this dude's a little different. He's yeah. a little weird. He's not really a he's friend a, of them. Yeah. Like, he's like. Asshole. Yeah. Selfish. And, and insensitive. Mm-hmm. Like, all those things. So, now, they was cool until they fell out. They yeah. fell out over the sister. Over the sister. She was hanging out with them. Yeah. But like that was that to me that was forced. Yeah, like He's it, part of the crew. Like and they're and like they don't do a great job establishing the crew. I don't know who the fuck is in it. All these different <laughs> niggas, right? Yeah, I don't. I don't know who is in it. I don't like. Like we don't know. There's so much we don't know. Like we don't know why they they joyride like this. Right. Like you said, this movie would make a lot more sense if. They was taking it to the chop shop. They did that one time. They did, and even then, he didn't get money. The guy had to shoot him away. Like, hey man, stop bringing me bullshit. Stop bring bringing this bullshit. Earn, you know, for a change, right. right? You know, so I don't know. Like, I'd be, I'd be curious, man. Like, you know, for like our, like our East Coast, you know, audience that right. like can maybe like give us some insight as to like, no, this is how it actually was, right? Yes, be- because yeah. this is. I think not being from there, this this movie doesn't. Even though this movie trans, even though I feel like I'm in Camden, right. like like let me be very oh, specific. Yeah, me too. Like I like from a from a from a shot for shot standpoint, from a way this movie is filmed, right? right. From a quality, like a, mm-hmm. from a from an aesthetic quality, fucking love it, right? right? Like you know, there's a grittiness to the characters, the the, the, the casting, you know, kind of yeah. works. You casting unknowns, so there's a lot about this movie that works for sure. Mm-hmm. But where it doesn't is where we get lost, which is the like story. Yeah, I don't have to have been from uptown to understand Harlem in Juice. They bring right. you there. Right. They help you understand, like, these guys can go to school, but they don't. And they're a crew. And this is the leader of the crew. And this is what they do. And da 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 
with these guys, it's just like a fucking hodgepodge of dudes. And we don't understand why, why they're out there, why they're this reckless, right. you know, why they steal cars just for the day. Maybe that's a like a regional thing that like somebody could explain. Yeah. Well, but it misses the mark for me. Yeah. And when when uh, midget talks to the girl, his ex, whatever mm-hmm. reason, I want I want I basically want that old thing back. I want that old thing back. And she's yeah. like, um, nah, she's not interested in the other. And he leaves. He leaves so cold that he just as cold as he got there. <laughs> and then it's like yeah. I don't get it when um the, him and Jason start tripping, mm-hmm. start having issues. He said, like, "You left me when you went to go to that Lexus." Yeah. Okay. But I always, I always leave you. I get in the car and I drive away. You mm-hmm. drive away too. Mm-hmm. But now, another thing that, that didn't make sense, they were videotaping him on surveillance. Yeah. Him sitting in the car waiting for, watching before um, uh, midget midget got out the car to rob dude. Yeah. They got his face in the camera. Yeah. He's doing. He kept looking over there. Yeah. Where's the midget's face? Yeah. Right. Why so is major midget, rot hole? So when they get so they, they were going back to Midget's house because he you know he got kicked out, so he was staying yeah. with Midget. Yeah. When they get to the cops is all in the hallway, he yeah. runs, but Midget doesn't run. Right. Nigga, they had they should have your face walking across the yeah. parking lot and robbing this white dude. Really poor policing, right? That's what I'm saying. Like it, like it was, it was. Think about it. Think about it like this. Yeah, yeah. This this is this some plot holy shit. At the beginning of the movie, Jason is 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 what Ronnie. Right. Yes. Our, yes. Who, you know, and that mm-hmm. guy gets shot, and without that guy saying, "I was with Jason," they somehow figure out that Jason was with him. Right. right. We got like, there's no ever they they ran, they got away. How would they know that Jason was the one in the car? So when he gets picked up for questioning on that, I'm like, how the fuck would they know? Right. So if they can figure that out. You can't figure out that Jason was with Midget when they when, with, with, with with the surveillance camera. And they got him in the car. Also, yeah, man. they should get him walking across. Right, with no 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 mask on. Like you know enough to go to Midget's house to look for Jason. See Midget. You grabbing these guys off the street for any old everything, but you don't grab Midget. Like when you at his house looking for the for the carjacker, shit doesn't make sense, especially. When they previously caught you in the blue Jeep yes. in broad daylight Come on, man. and they, they drew down the guns on you and get out the car. Mm-hmm. He just said that the at the beginning in the beginning of the movie, the the, the court, I mean the, the judge said, if I see you again, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw the book at you. Mm-hmm. He got caught <laughs> <laughs> sitting in the stolen car. Yeah. 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 How did he get bailed out? Mm-hmm. We don't know. He just he, he's just out. You just get released? Yeah. Plot holy type shit. Come on. So I'm I'm, I'm like, okay, this is doesn't make sense. Yeah. Um that along with uh several other things, um his him him his, his the relationship between his mom was like mm, Yeah. It's whack. But he has the best conversation with his mom of the whole film when he's locked up. Mm-hmm. And he says some of the dumbest shit. He says, <laughs> I, feel, I, feel, I feel like I let you down. And she's like, no, You no, think no, you didn't let me down? Mm-hmm. Nigga, you're a loser, bro. Yeah. Yeah, loser, my nigga. Straight you know what I'm up saying? loser. <laughs> hey, and with all due respect, just for the sake of the for the sake of the film, mm-hmm. all due respect, nigga, you're acting like you have to steal cars. Yeah, like you're going to jail, you're getting arrested, you're getting let out, and you mm-hmm. go right back to stealing cars. Yes, just stop stealing These cars, bro. Losers, man. Yeah, so yeah. so uh, no bitches, you no money, nigga, <laughs> no clothes. Let's wear the same jacket. They wore the same shit every day. <laughs> Damn, New Jersey must be fucked up. Like, 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 like I said, like, no bitches, no car, no money, no gear. Yeah, man. What the fuck are we doing out here? That's crazy. What are we doing out here? Uh, losing. Yeah. Um, even when the uh Heavy D's character came over, was like, hey man, mm-hmm. y'all, this ain't no speed track. Yeah. Basically, and how I how I viewed that is, mm-hmm. y'all fucking up our money, bro. These niggas is hustlers. Mm-hmm. They on the blocks pitching, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and y'all driving up and down these neighborhoods, getting chased by police. Y'all bringing y'all making our, our y'all neighborhood bringing the hot. heat here, right? Just keep that corny shit on your side. Yeah, yeah. On, on such such ad, I forgot what uh, Cherokee Ave or something like that. Mm-hmm. And so even them, they we, they, they they get looked at as little as weirdos, bro. Stop stealing cars and driving around just for fun. Yeah, you ain't getting no money, and everybody's doing it. Everybody. Yeah. 
So it's so it's 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 interesting, man. Like like, you know, I'm happy this movie got made. Yeah. And a lot of people were clamoring for it. I can't wait for you guys to 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 do New Jersey Drive. That's right, they were, huh? You know, but I think they probably were looking at it the same way that we were looking at it before the rewatch. As youngers. As they young, remember youngers. it, they remember it better than maybe what it actually is. Because you no know, the plot is, is weak. Yeah. yeah. Um yeah. The mom is she gets to she comes to prison to, uh, she comes to jail to talk to him and they're laughing and joking. He 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 never laughed or joke with her, not one time yeah. ever. Yeah. And the whole film She ain't even mad. And she's dealing with him. I I'm not coming to see you, bro. It, it would make more sense if she came to she came to say, I told you so, mm-hmm. dumbass nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Or not show up at all. Right. Some mommy not coming to see me. No. Come see, I told you, mm-hmm. stop doing what you're doing. He was lying to me the whole time about doing it. Yeah. I kept t- I kept telling you, you're going to land in jail. Ooh. I kept telling you, you're going to land in jail. He, he, he doesn't, he never responds. Like, he doesn't have no personality. Just like. Yeah. I'm a fuck up. I'm, who carjacks a minivan, fills it with motherfuckers, <laughs> thinks you're going to outrun, outrun the police? The police. <laughs> Right. He does yeah. because he because he's done he's done stuff like he he thinks he's in, untouchable. Yeah. After seeing your know, your partner Donald Faison get killed, get killed. Other yeah. homie, other homie, we don't even know his name. That, that's so, why they do such a poor job when they're trying to break into the bait car, and, yeah. and and homie gets blasted, he gets shot by the police. There, that doesn't stop him. Guys are falling like flies. So, and, and there's no conversation about why they're not stopping. That we got to mm-hmm. keep getting these motherfucking cars so we can get yeah. this money, or or, or or we're trying to, you know, we're trying to get out the hood, right? You know what I mean? One like more, you know, I just one more lick, man. One more, one more lick. You know, we we just gotta, you know, or I owe this guy money. Like there's no reason for it. It should have been at the beginning of the movie when they were when they were stealing cars. They should have been going to the chop shop and selling them. Mm-hmm. I made about maybe about twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, and I sell the car. If it's a Benz, it's two thousand. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's a hustle, and that makes him want to help save money so he can help his mom out. Yeah, or yeah. something. There's no reason why they're stealing cars this other, is, other than that we just like doing it. The thrill of ch- getting chased by police. It's such a good point, man. Because like, there's no stakes, right? Like, like, like it's such a valid point. Like, and 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 you and I both study film. And both are taking screen, you know, screenwriting classes. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the fuck Jason's objective is. Like, it's not survive because if it was survive, you wouldn't do the shit that he did. It's not money. It's not clout. It's not prestige. It's not even friendship. Like I don't understand. Like your friends know, are dropping like flies, and, and y'all are, seem not. Y'all seem to not. They they pour. They had one scene that's probably like an add on. Mm-hmm. And then pouring out liquor. Yeah, real quick. Yeah, and then y'all go right back doing the same shit that got them killed. What the fuck are we doing? That's it. What the fuck? Now, here's are the thing. We here's doing? the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. Like in certain movies, yeah, we'll see like the drug game where you can't just get out the drug game because mm-hmm. you owe money or you mm-hmm. uh. You gotta slain, You gotta finish selling this weed or, or these, these drugs to get mm-hmm. your bread to get about. Or you, it's the last bank robber we gonna do, or mm-hmm. something. But what are the reasons why y'all doing this in the first place for fun? Yeah, and niggas are getting killed for fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you and you want me to believe at the end of the movie that Jason's going back to school? Here's the thing. After all, so basically, if I'm asking this dude. I'm a kind of I'm a kind of person that would have I would force him to answer me. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not rhetorical, bro. What is your objective? Yeah. And he he had a scene in in, in the jail with his mom where he was like, "Ain't nothing for me out there. Mm-hmm. There's nothing out there." I'm like, "Nigga, I know it's cliche to say this. It's cliche to say this. You can do whatever you want, man. You can go to school. Yeah. You can get your education. You can get your degree. Go off to mm-hmm. college. Go be a mechanic. Yeah. That's do, do auto detailing. You obviously love cars. Yeah. Instead of stealing cars mm-hmm. for no money. Yeah. And no, no reason. Learn, learn the trade. <laughs> yeah, yeah, learn yeah. the trade and do it that way. And I can see a kid saying, nah, man, school ain't for me. Mm-hmm. I, at least have that conversation. Yeah. So, okay, so if school is not for you, then what is it? Like, it, I feel like y'all, the drug game has to go because you once you get involved, once mm-hmm. you get the game banging shit, mm-hmm. you can't stop game banging because niggas is on your head now. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting, job. Like, this movie, this movie lacks 
an, an essential part, which is like in Minnesota society, you know, it's Kane's discovery that it's time to leave LA, right? Boys in the hood. It's all the interesting things that are happening with the character. Ricky going to college, da, 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 da. With these characters, they don't give you a reason to care for them. You know, like not midget, midget, not the homie that, that, that ended up yeah. shooting at. Um, you, you don't know any of these characters. You don't really care about any of these characters. I saw a similar story. It was a documentary mm-hmm. based on Baltimore where they was doing the motorbikes, mm-hmm. right? And all the kids was out. And, you know, everybody wanted a motorbike. Right. But they established that this motorbiking, dirt bike shit, like in the, in the streets of Baltimore is a part of their culture. Right. It's a part of their culture. It's a part of, part of their community. Right. It's a part of who they are, mm-hmm. right? Like, and so... Through that lens, you help understand, like, who these people are. But it's not even like they established, like, yo, we just, like, this is car thief culture, right? Um, And then I just think about, like, all them hardworking motherfuckers that was getting their car stolen, right? <laughs> like, for no fucking Piece reason at all. Piece of shit-ass kids. Piece of shit-ass kids. Now, now <laughs> right? I used to be a thief, not a car thief, but yeah. I, I stole bikes, mm-hmm. and I stole out the stores and stuff like that. Yeah. I so and... And that's still bad. I'm not. I'm not justifying it, making little of it, as mm-hmm. if it's not as bad as still in the car. It's not, but I mean, it's still bad. Yeah. But I stopped doing that shit early, early in my early in my older young young nigga years. Mm-hmm. Um, like these dudes don't care about nothing. They see the cop come, they throw in the they they throw in the uh the 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 bottle at the cop. Bro, yeah. he, this is the same nigga that killed you, that shot your homeboy. Yes. And, and who, killed your other homeboy. And who be on your head? That's so the, that's the he nigga threw the, you he, he threw the beer at him and ran off and got caught. Yeah, and then got his ass whooped. Then got his and ass. then <laughs> laughed about it. And mm-hmm. that's what it seemed like thing that between him and him and um uh Jason kind of like fell off. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't understand why because he didn't have nothing to do with you getting your ass whooped. Right, y'all ran in separate directions. Right, right, right. He didn't leave you hanging. Yeah, and 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 Mitch earned that shit because because the female cop wasn't even an asshole. She literally was like, "Y'all drinking." Y'all yeah. out, y'all outside pour drinking. Your, pour, your, pour it out. Yeah, and you know he he didn't pour it out. You know what I mean? Called her bitch. Da 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 da. At that point, like she was with the action. You know what I mean? But she, you know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's it's and this is the first time in all the movies so far that we've that we uh, sat down and broke down mm-hmm. that the plot was so was the plot was so shaky. It was missing. And, and, and the dialogue and the scenes inside the, this movie is shaky. The plot was stolen like a parked car. <laughs> Somebody took a screwdriver yeah. to the plot and drove off the set with it. Right. Um. Yeah, that part doesn't work. The girl, the, the daughter all of a sudden is hanging with, she's fucking up too now. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I just, I'm fucking up, you yeah. fucking up. So yeah. I guess yeah. that, that could be real. I get I get the try. I get, I get the try. I understand what we are trying to accomplish with this movie. Right. Um, this is like an almost like an art film, right? Like, you know, like an exercise, mm-hmm. right? Like Spike kind of gets behind this guy. You know, Spike Lee ex- executive produced this. Like, like this, this is the movie that Spike ended up making with Clockers. Clockers. Right? Like, yeah. like this is, the, you know, he was like, okay, um, let me redo this version. You know what I mean? With, with, with Clockers. Or strapped. Yeah. Um, so let's let's fucking give out some awards. Um, I still I'm still uh yeah, because I want to I want to bring up the scene with the the boyfriend and the mom's fiance mm-hmm. coming to talk to him. Yeah, yeah. Your mom told me to come talk to you. <laughs> yes, the worst. <laughs> talking about what? Your mom told me to come talk to you. He, he he repeated himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the talk was terrible. He had nothing. He had nothing. <laughs> Dude, that may stay out my business. Hey yeah. man, you gonna be living here? Bro, yeah, wrong fucking approach. You know what I mean? Like, you know, no compassion, no, no understand. Like, he didn't have the authority, and he was trying to act like. And yeah. he was trying to act like he and did. He had no authority and no rapport. Yeah, he had no authority, no rapport, no information, no advice. Had nothing to offer this guy besides a rebuke. You know, when the mom and that morning asked, I heard your friend got shot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Were you with him? No, I wasn't with him. Mm-hmm. I'm way more serious than that. This is one of your homeboys you hang with on a regular basis. Mm-hmm. He's shot. And I'm you don't tripping. know nothing? And you and you just going to go back outside, do it. 
Yeah. Come on, man. Come on, it man. just now I understand there's some sons that are unruly and they're gonna do what the fuck they want to do. Yeah. But that it, it, it didn't seem like he even had the chance to rebel because she wasn't on them tough enough. Yeah. It's almost like this movie would have been a better movie if we didn't even have Jason at all. Hmm. And it was just Midge. Right? Because at least with him, he comes from a house of hustlers. Mm-hmm. Right? Who all be in and out of jail. And when they get together, so boom, we got that. That's that's where his influence, that's where he was taught from. Da 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 da. da. He's got an ailing grandma that he needs to take care of, right? Like, like, like a bishop. Like a bishop. This is this is almost like they're trying to do a juice, mm-hmm. but they dropped the ball. Exactly, right? Mm-hmm. So he's got bad influence. You know, he's got to get the fuck out of here. Da 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 da. This is why I steal the cars, right? Like I steal the cars because I gotta feed my grandma who I love. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, where would I be without you? Now it kind of says that in that scene. Mm-hmm. He's been, he was like, I got bills to pay. Yeah. But it, I feel like all that shit came too late. Yeah. It came too late in an hour and a half, an hour and 20 minutes is already. There was no, there was no, there was no hustle. You know what I mean? Like, like I got bills to pay. Yeah. He wasn't like, you know, and 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 the script tries to like allude to it because they kept talking about, it. well, I'm keeping that one. I'm keeping that one or whatever. Like maybe the implication is that like these cars that they're stealing, but literally yeah. the shits are like yeah. burner phones, right? right? They get like they they still want to get out. They will fucking walk away from it. Oh, we got a flat tire. Get yeah, out. hop in the car with you and drive off. Yeah, yeah. Then we got the inexplicable scooter. You know what I mean? That, yeah. <laughs> that one sitting. day. Yeah. And oh, all of a sudden he went bad with that. He, he now he's a killer. Now he wants to kill. Now he's a, now, yeah, yeah. Aim. Nobody had aim. You know, right? That close, yeah. See that many times, yeah. And if they supposed to be boys like that, which again, you know, shit, they hanging out late at night, you would understand why this man don't want his sister out here, right? That like, there wouldn't be enough to 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 spark that kind of beef for y'all to be fighting in the street, yeah. especially for you to want to come back and kill him. But it's the same thing. I was laughing at thinking his mom. Yes. So he has, he has no respect. He don't for got him. no respect for far, probably for himself for none of these people. Yeah. So. I was, I'm checking my homies. Hey, bro, I can I can talk to my mom, but you don't have to talk to her. Yeah, now. yeah. I don't, don't, don't do that, bro. <sighs> MVP. Is there an MVP? Is there an MVP? Oh man. Shit. MVP. An MVP. Ooh. Is there any part of this movie, any character in this movie, that makes the shit work? It's not. I don't think Jason's an MVP. Um, I don't know, bro. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm I'm gonna give it to Midget. Okay, because he was the best actor in the movie. Yeah, Sharon. The, the the actor should have been midget. Yeah, he should have because Sharon wasn't Q. Yeah, from Juice. Yeah, he wasn't Kane. From uh, like he didn't, he didn't have no personality. It, it didn't seem like he even wanted to do what he was doing, but he mm-hmm. was doing it right. And so there's times like when when midget shot at the cop car from the roof, mm-hmm. they all ran away laughing, laughing, smiling. Yeah. By the time I got in the car, hey man, put that gun away, man. Hey man, you do you tripping? Man, you can't do that. Yeah. And that's a different energy. Yeah. And oh shit, my bad. Mm-hmm. Damn. No, we good. Moving too much. I'm here. Um, yeah, we we I'm, at the I'm, end anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Um, it's just like he 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 didn't have the old boy old boy respect. Yeah. You even said it when they were driving in the car. He was like, "Bro, you just left me." Mm-hmm. And he's just some, some crab friends, crab ass friends, crab yeah. ass friends. Yeah, but you couldn't notice that from the jump. When the dude was like, when when the dude was trying to when he, when Jason was trying to take his sister upstairs and the other, his homeboy got involved and mm-hmm. they fought. He was like, hey, man, you got to apologize. You got to make that right, man. That's, that's, mm-hmm. I told you that's my peoples. Mm-hmm. Like, nigga, fuck your peoples, yeah. bro. Yeah. You, you know it. I was trying to take I'm my your sister. peoples. I was trying to take my sister to have her go upstairs. Mm-hmm. He intervened with me talking to my little sister. Right. He don't have that right. He mm-hmm. should be apologizing to me. Mm-hmm. But Midge don't see that way. Midge's stupid, too. Midge is ignorant. And even when he's laughing, how you laughing at the homie that you know shooting at me? Yes. Laughing. We just got our homeboy just died last month. Mm-hmm. The other homie, by, by, the homeboy in the coma, he got shot up. Yeah. The other homie got ran over. He got hit. In the, uh, we got homies dying every day. And I mm-hmm. saw how upset he was, how upset he was when he saw 
um, uh, Donald Faison's character in the other side yeah. of, the, uh, of the car when he got hit. Mm-hmm. He, was in the, he was in the passenger seat. He got knocked from the driver's seat mm-hmm. to the passenger seat, and he mm-hmm. was dead. Yep. yep. And, and, and they, they, they was they was all they was all torn up. Like, damn, man, what the fuck? Uh, what's his name? Uh, Midge's mad. He, ah, mm-hmm. he, and that's I'm your best friend. Yes. You got another homie shooting at me. He could have killed me. He could have shot me in the back of the head. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you, you laughing? laughing? It didn't make sense. I feel like the I feel like this movie might have been mm-hmm. shot over the course of five, six, seven, eight months. Yeah, and yeah. They, they were just picking up as they were going. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of there's, there's a lot of like just scenes that didn't make sense, or not 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 that it, that didn't make. It's not that they didn't make sense. It's that that it's just that he uh, it, it came out of nowhere. Like the scenes were just jumping around a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it did that for for Juice a little bit too, but we knew where the story was going. With we Juice. knew where the story was going. We, who, like, we knew who the antagonist was. We knew our whys. We could answer the questions, right? right. Like we could answer the questions. Um, LVP. LVP, least valuable player. Mm. The girl. With the with the hair, yeah, with the with the with the the finger <laughs> way, the, the finger the way, heavy, the, the, the heavy, the, with the uh, with the what's his name, with the um, the Murrays with the sporting waves, the, the, that the pomade, the, the, the yeah, the thick flower pomade. joints, thick pomade. But I was gonna say, what's his name? What's the X Men name? Magneto, the Magneto yeah. man, yeah. the helmet. <laughs> that should look goofy, yeah, yeah. But she was flush. She was cute though, and she was cute in certain scenes. Certain yeah. scenes, I was like, oh. Yeah, like certain scenes, I was like, they got somebody's mama playing this role, and yeah. then other scenes, I was like, okay, I get it. That scene when she was in the car and he was mm-hmm. he was asking her about their mm-hmm. friendship. Yeah, I said, oh, she cute. Yeah, oh, she looked good. At right that there. point, it was, and then they jacked her. That shit was fucked up. <laughs> that shit he was, was just about to get like, this thing. He was just about to like, smash. He don't get no. And she was fly. I get because mm-hmm. she was. She did have the sex appeal. Yeah. Um, I, I made fun of her her Magneto hairstyle, yeah, but, but she was around the way. Ninety five, that was it. Yeah, she and was around the earrings, way. Girl. At least two pairs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she had it going. Um, and she was smart about she her. Was smart, had a way about her. Yeah, you know, she was always dolo too. Mm-hmm. And she liked this dude, Jason, even though Mitch is all in her face. Like I want, I want, I want you back. Yeah. Give me another chance. Yeah. And she almost gave him a chance, it seemed like. Mm-hmm. But my thing is this. She's supposed to be so smart not to get in the car. She never got in the car with him. Mm-hmm. Take a ride with me. Mm-hmm. Why are you even talking to these niggas in the first place? They're they're going nowhere. Because they, none of them, they're just all trapped in the city. Like, she's smart enough to not ride in the car. But she ain't smart enough to not end up getting pregnant by one of these niggas. Yeah, but she ain't, you know, she ain't got nothing to do. She ain't going nowhere neither, right? Like, right. you know, she's mad it was her mom's car, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like... So they just tripping. They just in the hood. <laughs> they just they just they just in the hood, and you know, like in that sense, like you know, he played it kind of coy and, and bashful, like you know, kind of like some little thug blush, you know. Uh-huh. But um, but she was the only looker, you know, and, and damn, near everybody else is looking pretty rough, right? Except except uh, little sister home girls, yeah, the they, little packet of the little 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 baddies, little cutie sh- pies. Yeah. I said, okay, mm-hmm. um. Uh, but why the homie with the the motorcycle just go bad all of a sudden? Yeah, because like like there was no like, were they jealous of him? But there was no nowhere in the movie to show that they were jealous. It was like like a, like even if they had a, had a conversation because he was with them when they when they jacked the police car right, and they have and and Mitch and Jason have a conversation with each other where they tell them I told you then they got a big mouth da 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 yeah okay so at a scene where confront they, they confront him hey man I don't know what you talking about man I said what I said what yeah. you mean so the what? fuck man like you know so we'll get off my back what y'all gonna do you know what I mean like yeah you and, know, and then it sets up like oh now they've got a and on top of that what's the problem mm-hmm. but them they took the cop car right yeah and then. He told the homies? Yeah. All these niggas are stealing cars, and that's something to brag about. <laughs> yeah. I would think, yeah, hey, yeah, I man, last night, mm-hmm. this nigga Midget took a cop car. Yeah. We drove around the whole east side, yeah. blah, 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 blah. And ain't nobody going to tell the police that? No, that's what I'm saying. So, what? So, hey, man, I told you, you got to hear that big mouth. Yeah. You got, was it a secret? Yeah. That, that wasn't nobody supposed to know? I think that I, I, y'all steal cars every day mm-hmm. and come show the homies what y'all stole. What y'all stole. In the car y'all stealing. So, why would you... I understand why mm-hmm. him still, him telling the homies that that midget stole this the, this cop car and we joy riding in the yeah, cop car. Yeah. Why is that a problem? Once again, crazy riding to me. Unbelievable. Um, it, um, it, it, it's not consistent. Um, that like out of all the fucking cars they could have stolen in the beginning, it's the cops' car. 
Yeah, they didn't know. Right. Yeah. As opposed to why not have a scene where it's like, hey man, yeah. Ain't that ain't that the detective's cop? Because the detective's car? The cop does not live in the same area. Right? He <laughs> like, like he doesn't live in the same area. Um, and then they is they got this line, like, hey, isn't that your car? Right? Like, you know. Oh yeah. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, come on, man. Come on, bro. Come on, man. It's it's so I'm saying like with Juice, you can see the beginning mm. of the demise. You yeah. saw that. Yeah. Um. At first, they were all friends. It's all friendship. And then you saw the, the oh, that's how I'm gonna go top of the world. Mm-hmm. So we, we saw him. We saw where he was from. Um, Bishop, that is. We saw Bishop lose himself mm-hmm. in his own ego, in his own insecurities. Yeah. And it made sense how it all fell out. Power struggle. Now, how how I would re, how I would quickly rewrite some of these scenes and make it make more sense is Midget um, loves this dude. Jason and Midget they they all friends. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but Midget this, the girl should have been the reason why Midget and and Jason fall out. Fell out. Yeah, that, uh, some buns. Yeah, yeah. Um, even though Jason could be like, yo, bro. I know that's your ex girlfriend, man, or I know you used to deal with her back in ninth, tenth grade. Yeah, and these niggas are still in high school. Yeah, uh, I don't want her, bro. I, I like her, but I, man, I know that's I know you trying to get back with her, bro. So it's all good. I'm I'm stepping off. Mm-hmm. So he he's not even interested in the girl, but he, but the girl is still interested in Jason, and Midget can't take it yeah. take it like that. So now he starts doing certain silly things. Like it was kind of out the blue to go steal the steal the uh, the um, the Lexus. But mm-hmm. my thing is this. They never mentioned this. They all, he he had a big issue with you just leaving me high and dry. What's not yeah. true? I left you the car. Mm-hmm. Drive off, nigga. That's, That's what, we, what do. we do. But but he, we what he should have said, hey bro, we're carjackers. We're not, we're not like we're we're car we're we're, we're, we're Grand Theft we're, Auto guys. We're, we're, we're not we're car thieves. We're not, we're not jackers. jackers. Yeah. You jack you. This guy saw your face and fucking broad daylight. Right. Mm-hmm. Now that's the difference. Yeah, yeah. That's the difference. We still we we steal cars in broad daylight too, but mm-hmm. we like use a jack. When no one's that's around, not what we do. You look around and do it. You just ran and snatched this car up in front of everybody. He mm-hmm. still would have been like, "I mean, so what, man? Nobody tripping." Yeah, you know we hot. Yeah, and they had surveillance around the. None of that conversation happens. That Everything is a, it's a scene. Nothing else. Scene, scene, scene. And some of the scenes don't even uh, don't even go together. It could be a scene of, of them jacking the car today, and the next scene they pull up in the whole of the car to to the set. It's just it's just weird. As I'm watching this movie, I'm like, as a as a young kid, I wasn't a filmmaker yet, mm-hmm. so I'm watching all this action, all this car theft, thievery, yeah, yeah, yeah. and everything. And I'm like, oh yeah, this is cool mm-hmm. on some of the young nigga dumb shit. But I'm looking at it now, I'm like, damn, this movie didn't translate to me that well. And it didn't even, translate. Even like like the main villain, the main cop villain, they just they even throw away his his ending. Right, like after spending so much screen time for him not to get in trouble with this character, you know what I mean? Like you know, for for you to just fill it out in like like you know newsreel in, footage in the credits almost. Yeah, in the credits. Yeah, like you know, you just after giving him so much screen time, you just toss away, you know, his thing. Right, and, right. He goes. He he still gets in, he still gets in trouble, mm-hmm. but it has nothing to do with Jason. Right, Jason's already in prison, and it's like, and then he's and he's sweating Jason about the grand jury. First of all, how'd you even find him? Like, cause he's concerned that he's gonna get in trouble for shooting the gun that he literally did on purpose, right? Like, right. It, it just doesn't it doesn't make sense for for him to even be busting those shots. Like, they already got the 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 tire strip, right? Like, you know, the car is already disabled. Yeah. It's, it's, and why not just run down there with your guns drawn? Freeze, freeze, freeze. Yeah. Y'all start shooting and nobody's even coming yet. And 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 you want me to believe that two kids, one of them abdomen shot, was able to get away from the police. Yeah. And then live. He was and sitting he's sitting in front of the house. Like, got all the way to the crib. And then all the way to the police. I mean to the to the uh, to the ambulance. I yeah. mean to the hospital. It's just, yeah. Damn it. Uh yeah. So let's give let's give some fists. Right, let's just go straight to the fist. This is really interesting, man. Mm. This is interesting, man. Because I started with a three. Did you? Because, mm-hmm. and this had credit, it had equity with me because of what I remembered this movie being. Right. I like 
certain aesthetics of it. Oh, yeah, me too. This sure. movie was hard to pull off, especially with so much car stuff. Right? Like, you know, and I never felt lost in the car or, mm-hmm. or like, you know, like, like, so it's difficult to do, you know right. what I mean, for, for what a car as much driving as this required, right. right? Like, you know, without, I don't think, fucking professional stunt drivers. I don't know if they had the budget for that. For, and if, if you notice some of the, the some of the uh, chase scenes, yeah. the car's on the drive, on the sidewalk, with yeah. the, down the face on is getting away, uh-huh. and it's, the car's moving slow as hell. Yeah, yeah. And the other car, the, the car car has got yeah. sirens going, but he's yeah. moving slow too. So he's that, driving like this and... And a lot of empty streets, but they pulled a lot of that shit off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I thought I was going to give it three black fists. Yeah. As we've talked about it, I'm in the two black fists category. I'm in the two, bro. And this is, un- this, I, I never, I've think- never, this, I've never gone this low. Yeah. And like, I'm low key. Like, do I want to give this one black fist? Mm. Because. I won't do it only because down the face line. I love this character. I, lo- I love the characters. It's, it's a two. Uh, yeah, it's a two. But it's I, a low two. And, and, and I love the mom's acting. Mm-hmm. Um, even though I hated, I, I hated what she represented because she wasn't a bad mom. She mm-hmm. just wasn't that good of a mom. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. I mean, she came down there and banged on them and slapped and made them go upstairs. I get mm-hmm. that. Um, but I feel like if you want to be in the streets, um, stealing cars, yeah, you ain't, yeah. you're not gonna live here no more. Yeah. And he moved out, so he was staying with uh, mm-hmm. he was staying with um, the midget. But it's like I'm looking for my scissors, <laughs> scissors in my bag. Yeah. In my bag, you calling me a liar? <laughs> yeah, <I'm thinking laughs> you lying? You lying, nigga? You, your hand was just in my bag. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Um, this yeah, it gets, it gets a two for what it gets wrong, right? Okay. Like you know what it gets right, it gets right, right? Mm-hmm. Um. Audience, you know, listeners, rewatch it. Go ahead and rewatch. Rewatch it. Uh, New Jersey Drive, y'all. Mm-hmm. It, it has a, it has a, it has a juice feel. All right, in the sense that you see, like the it feels the, realer than juice. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It, it feels it um, feels more authentic than juice for sure. Yeah. Um, the kids really feel like hood. Yeah. I really feel like damn. If this was how New Jersey was. I don't even want to be outside in yeah. my car. Yeah. Cause you you almost want to cause when they got jacked at the end with the girl and him mm-hmm. and the girl, like if she if they were upstairs about to get get mm-hmm. it cracking, mm-hmm. that car still would have got taken. Yeah, if you in the car sitting there in front of your house, it's still gonna get taken. <sighs> New Jersey is crazy like that, and that's why this movie fucking fails because it could have been so much because it was shot well. Yeah. Like, like you know, like certain like movies, like feel a little B movie. They feel a little camcordery. Uh huh. This movie does not feel that way. Nah. Like, like shots and lighting and everything. Like you could tell that Spike, you know what I mean? Like was behind it. It just really this movie, f- the story fails. Yes, the story fails. I, this movie. If I want, if I look at the script of this film, yeah, I feel like I'm gonna look at each scene and oh boy, Jason, the main character is mm-hmm. gonna have six lines. Yeah. He doesn't even talk. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, is that because he's a new actor? He's not that strong? Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. But, like, why doesn't he talk? Because mm-hmm. he shows no personality. Yeah. Like, he shows no, like, he, he's he's just like a. Yeah. His, his mom talks to him, and he's just, he does this. Mm-hmm. Then he leaves, goes outside. What up, kid? Yeah. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you on? Yeah, I'm shit. Just out yeah. here chilling. That's all. That's all this movie did was, what up, kid? It, it, was, it was like, it was, this movie was greetings. Like laughter, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean. And I've been fucked up by the police, like that. Like they fuck him getting his ass whipped by the police. Yeah. And the mom is like, "What happened to you? You mm-hmm. got hit? Mm-hmm. Nah. Who who did this to you? Nobody." Yeah. And conversation tell me, over. Tell me something, man. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah. Two. And so, so when she landed in, he landed in prison, and he said, "Almost about to be almost in tears." I feel like he was almost in tears. Mm-hmm. I feel like I let you down. You think, dumbass? Yeah. Of course you let her down. Yeah. She was begging you. To stop. She even came and said, nigga, you, 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 they're not going to stop till they kill you and mm-hmm. put your ass in behind bars. And the homie right next to her laughing. Care. Laughing. I'm like, I was I saying, what, what type of man are you? Young man. That you're you going to let somebody I'm, I'm laugh I'm really upset mm-hmm. about what you're doing. And you got this best friend of yours laughing mm-hmm. in my face. Yeah. As if I'm a joke. Yeah. And you're okay with that. He knows that it's okay to laugh at, at Jason's mom. Said, tell your mama to get her oil changed. Like they like laughing at her, 
laughing at her car. No respect. No respect. And, and, and I think he lacks self-respect or self-value, which is why he get, he gets mm-hmm. himself caught up in all, all these things. Like him getting, him, he got arrested at least three times since the first arrest. Yes. At the beginning of the movie. Yes. And you and you still out and about free? Don't Count make- your blessings and, 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 and move accordingly, my yeah. nigga. Yeah. Like, it just, it, it, I felt like, I mean, and I, I see all kind of hood movies. Mm-hmm. Don't be a menace, the juice and all that. Like, they robbed the liquor store for no reason. Yeah. I didn't, I mean, the whatever money they were going to get out of, the, out of that, out of, mm-hmm. out of, what's the old man uh, Quillis? Old man Quillis. Mm-hmm. It wasn't enough money for them to really do nothing with. Right, right. So they didn't have to sell the liquor store, uh, rob the liquor store. Yeah. But they did. It was licks. It's licks. It was like, it, and it was young, high school. Yeah. And it wasn't supposed to be no major crime. Right, like you know, we're supposed to go in, rob them, get right. the fuck out, right? Right. Um, yeah. I mean, there's no hierarchy in the crew in New Jersey Drive. There's no big homie. There's no message moment. Right. You no know, message moment. Yeah. And it's just unseasoned. It's just un. It's missing some salt. Like it misses something. Yeah. That connects everything together. Right. So it's a two. You're it's like, a it's, two. It's, 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 it's a, a two. It's a two. Um, damn. It's the first one that we both have been like. Yeah, bro. This is a this this, this is probably And I remembered it mark. so well. I, w- I was excited to do it. That's why yeah. I was like, hey, let's do New Jersey Drive. Yeah. You was hype. And we was like, was. yeah. We was like. And I was watch this. Yeah, New Jersey. And then I watched it like. Hmm. What? What is this? Yeah. At least, at least in certain movies, you see guys. Um, like have a a a a heart to heart with their mom or yeah, their dad or yeah, somebody. Yeah, it was never a heart to heart ever. And my my ask to the to the viewing audience is: if you love this movie, tell me why. Right. If we're if, if, if we're, we're wrong, wrong if tell we're wrong me why. And our 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 breakdown, our mm-hmm. blackbuster breakdown. Yeah. Tell us why in the comments, please, because um. Here's the, and, and with this being said, I, I'm a movie guy. That's what I do. Mm-hmm. I consider this to be a two out of five Black Fist. Yeah. But I'll watch this movie again. Yeah. And I would love to watch it with other filmmakers. Tell me what you see think. To see where exactly yeah. could this movie be improved at. I watch movies as, I went to school for this to where yeah. we watch movies to watch to see how to improve a scene, how to how to convey a, a dialogue within two characters mm-hmm, in a scene. Mm-hmm. I break them down that way. So so I broke this movie down, and I and I realized it's not really that good. Yeah. It, 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 it has a skeleton to, that could be really nice mm-hmm. if you write it better, and you and you direct the actors better. Yeah. I, and and this have more so the the the, the writing because the acting the is writing bad. yeah the writing. It needs to flow. It needs yeah. to mesh. The, the the acting suffers because of what's on paper, right? So you could have got better performances from the actor if you had a better script, right? Right. Um, in terms of the directing, um, again, it goes back to the source material, but I like the way this movie was shot and yes. framed. And Me too. To a certain extent, It reminds me of Juice. Right, yeah. But without the, without the story, without the dialogue. One season, missing the We salt. saw the problems between the friends that ended up being where these guys were getting killed off by Bishop. Yep. Yep. We saw it happening. This is about to crumble. We didn't see that with New Jersey Drive. We didn't see how collision. Midget and Jason were going to fall out. Yeah. It just didn't make sense. So I so if you if you like it, mm-hmm. tell me why. I'm not even trying to fight you on it. No. Nah. There's no debate. I li- I, I want to like the movie. Yeah. Help me see what you see. Yeah. Hey, man. That's it. That's all. This is Black Busters, man. Catch us next time. Watch New, Jer- New Jersey Drive. Please watch New Jersey Drive if you can. Um, I really think it's worth the watch, even though I just broke it down. I criticized it a lot. Mm-hmm. At the same time, I'll go back and watch it again too. And I would love to sit down with some of the homies, even you. We can sit mm-hmm. down again, yeah. and watch and watch it. Like this is where we. This is where I think the story went wrong. Yeah, yeah. Y'all go ahead and watch this movie, man. New Jersey Drive, Black Busters, Big Ja. Man, I'm, I'm Grand Grand Theft Tone. Grand Theft Tone. They, they done, this movie done stole my motivation. Stole the motivation, stole my energy. <laughs> Grand Theft Tone, the big job, man. Catch us next time. Love y'all, man. Be good or be good at it. To the max. Pew. Blackbusters. <laughs>